Okay, so here we have a speed detection device, which takes advantage of the wonderful time measuring capabilities of the Arduino Uno. So the circuit is built, of course, including the Arduino Uno microprocessor. And in addition, I have two brake beam sensor pairs. So here's one pair and here's the other. And basically it's a beam of light, infrared, which gets interrupted when an object cruises in front of it. And then again, this beam here gets interrupted when the object has traveled down this pathway and interrupted the second set of sensors. We can program the Arduino so that it measures the interval of time between the time, between the moment the first brake beam sensors is interrupted and the second one is interrupted. And then knowing the distance, we can tell the Arduino to compute velocity, which is distance over time. So I get a readout showing 30 centimeters per second, which seems about reasonable for the speed that I traveled with my finger um, down this ramp. Now, obviously a more practical example would be using a marble, for example, in the physics unit. So I can roll this marble down here. And the speed was more like 67 centimeters per second. I would like to add also that this Arduino Uno is able to measure time with a very high resolution. Uh, I've got the program set to millis, but my reading indicates that this can actually measure time intervals within a, uh, within a range of 10 microseconds. So that's a very, very high resolution. So here we're going to measure the initial speed of a mousetrap car using the speed measuring device with the Arduino. And here we can see the output uh, actually turns out to have been five values. And part of the reason is that um, the strip that goes across the sensors is kind of wide. And so the sensor is actually recording five starting times and five finishing times. Therefore, it computes five average velocities in centimeters per second.